Hey everybody, welcome back to our Illustrator videos, and we are going to work on a pen tool today. Okay, so let's go ahead and open up a letter size paper. I'm going to use uh, Landscape. Hit Create. Okay, the pen tool. Let's go ahead and put the grid on. So View, Show Grid. There we go. So, the pen tool, I'm going to zoom in a little bit here, go up to a corner here, is uh, to me one of the harder tools to learn if you don't really, if you're not taught it well, uh, if you're trying to learn it on your own, I guess. It's one of the harder tools to learn if you try to learn it by yourself, at least it was for me, and I couldn't really uh, figure it out. But after getting taught how to use it by a teacher, it actually wasn't as bad as I thought it was. So, what the pen tool does is it uses points to create lines and here you can see it's got a white fill and a black stroke and I'm just gonna go ahead and undo it and it can create straight lines like this like I just did when I click and just click and lift click and lift click and lift click and lift okay so that's one kind of line it can do another kind of line it can do is going back to the pen tool here it can create curved lines, and it does this by using handlebars. And now this is a part where things get interesting. All right, with our curves. Okay, so let me go ahead and grab that, and let me delete it. And let's go ahead and work on the different kind of lines we can make. Okay, so I'm just I'm in my grid here, and I'm gonna go to the pen tool, which is right here. There's an anchor point tool below it, and that's very useful as well, but that's a little more advanced, so we'll get to that thing. So we just want to use this pen tool. Now don't be confused and go to this tool here. This is going to act a little differently and also does curves and things, but we're going to, we're going to use a pen tool for this. So first thing I want us to do, and we do not want snap to grid on. Okay, there it is right there. I do not want it on. We are just going to use this for reference. So the first thing I want us to make is kind of like a castle wall. So I'm just going to go ahead and go over to this corner, go to this corner on this grid, and click. And, and it does kind of want to snap horizontally a little bit. But I'm going to go over to, up to, over to, I'm just clicking, down to, over to, up to, over to, down to, and I'm just going to make this little castle wall kind of shape here, okay? Just clicking with a mouse, or my pen tablet here, which is what I got, and lifting, clicking and lifting, clicking and lifting, and I can get straight lines, okay? So that's the first kind of line we can get. Now I'm going to go ahead and get out of it. So I'm kind of stuck in here, and if I click anywhere else, it's going to continue making these lines, which I don't necessarily want right now. So let me undo them and hit Command-Z, Command-Z. Okay, and to get out of it, I'm going to go over to the selection tool and now click kind of off of the shape. So I kind of deselected the shape there and I'm going to start a new one. Let me zoom in a little more here. Okay, so I've got this uh, black stroke and this kind of default here, one point of a stroke here, one point thick and it's black and I have a fill and I'm going to take the fill off. So I'm going to go over here go to the none option so now I can see the grid through there okay again I'm gonna click off back to the pen tool shortcut is P by the way so now let's try doing a curve okay so for the curve here what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click and drag up so I didn't click and lift I dragged the handlebar drag drug I drug I drag the handlebar up I'm going to just do up to, and now check it out. This has given me a curve now. And the curve is going to go up in the direction, well, it's going to go in the direction which I took the handlebar out. So I, I went up with it, so now the curve, as you can see, is going up, and it's giving me a little preview of where it's going. So I'm just going to go straight across from my first anchor point, straight across, right there, two boxes over, and I'm going to click, not going to lift up yet, 
clicking and dragging down. Okay, now once I've got two down, two boxes down here with the handlebars, now I'm going to lift up. Okay, so now I've got a curve going in the opposite direction because that's the direction I took this uh, handlebar here. So now I'm going to go over two. So all my anchor points are in line. See, so here's one anchor point. Here's the other anchor point. The next one's going to be two boxes over. And I'm going to click. And I'm going to drag up. Again, I'm not lifting up yet with my mouse or my pen or whatever you've got. Click, I'm going to drag up. And once I get to that little uh, two box marker, that little corner there, now I'm going to lift up. Okay, now. I'm going to go over again, and, I, and again, all these anchor points are on one line here. So I'm going to click there, not lift up, drag down, and you can see it's shaping the curve. And if you mess up, don't worry, just keep going. And I'm going to lift up now, unclick, over to, up to, with my handlebar, then, then lift up, then I unclick over to all these points are in a line every point starts here in the line and the only thing that's being brought down to these handlebars down to once I got it down I'm going to lift up over to and then going back and forth here okay pretty basic but I know this is a tricky tool so make sure you go slow and if you didn't catch everything go ahead and rewatch it again okay there we go. I've got a little back and forth curve. Now I'm going to go ahead and deselect it by hitting the selection. So I can shortcut, right? So I can shortcut from uh, my uh, pen tool when I'm stuck in the pen tool and I can hit V and it'll kind of get me the into the selection tool. So I don't have to go all the way over to the toolbar and click it. I hit the shortcut and I can click out of it. And I want you to check something out here. So I've got my path here. I've got it selected. I'm going to reselect it. But I'm going to go ahead and go to the white arrow the direct selection tool. And now the thing that's cool about this, or one of the things that's cool about this, is that I can mess with these handlebars. Okay, I'm not going because I like my nice even pattern. I'll put it back. But these curves are very uh, editable. Okay, so you can change them, you can make them longer, make them bigger, you can create different shapes, all sorts of things. All right, super handy. Super helpful. Let me get back there. Okay. So those are handlebars. We're, we're going to look more at the handlebars shortly, but let's just kind of get used to this pen tool. So I'm going to go ahead and move my uh, document up a little bit. And now we're going to do something a little different. We're going to go back to the pen tool and I'm going to change directions of my curves. Okay. So now you got to kind of watch and you're going to have to use your keyboard at the same time. So I'm going to go ahead and start the same way. So I'm going to go click, drag my handlebar up, up to, I'm going to go ahead and start making it just like I did before. Okay, I'm going to click. I'm going to drag down to. And now, before I unclick, I'm going to hold down Option okay, on the keyboard. And now, I'm going to lift up the pen. I'm sorry, lift up the handlebar. I'm going to bring it right back up to where the handlebar was before. I'm, I actually was a little off before. I'm going to put it right on that little dot. Now, I'm going to lift up the pen, and then I can lift up Option. Okay, or unclick. Okay, then I'm going to go over to. Now, now you can see here that I took the handlebar up. It told the next curve to go in a different direction. So here I go. Over to. And I'm going to go down again. Again, I'm going to hold down option so it knows. Well, let me get this a little straighter there. There we go. I'm going to hold down option now. And I'm going to lift up the handlebar. I'm going to swing it up. All the, all the while it's clicked. I'm still clicked. And once I have it into place, then I'm going to lift up and unclick, and then I'm going to lift up option. Okay? And I'm going to get this little uh, change of directions now. Okay, same thing. Dragging down, holding down option. Now I'm not, I'm still have it unclicked. I'm still clicked the whole time, or press down with my pen, swinging the handlebar up right to wherever I want it to go, lift up the pen, or unclick the mouse, then lift up option. Okay, and this is how you change directions with the pen tool. Unclick, lift up option. Hold down option, swing it up, unclick the pen, unclick option. All right.
Okay, now to get out of it here, I'm going to go ahead and hit V and unclick. And there we go. I've got these three little pattern kind of things going here. But we are not done. Let's go ahead and practice a new thing. This time we're going to practice going from a straight line to a curved line and then back to a straight line. Okay, so here we go. Okay, so let's go ahead and go from a straight line to a curved line, back and forth. Okay, so here we go. Start with a straight line. I'm going to go ahead and click down and lift. Okay, now I've got a straight line. You can see it's going to form a straight line by the little preview it's given me. I'm going to go two over. And okay, now listen carefully here. I'm going to go click. My pen is still clicked or my mouse. Now I'm going to hold down option. And now I'm going to take out a handlebar. And I took it out a little early. You can see that. I can, I can fix that later though. But I'm going to take out a handlebar. This is not a line. This is a handlebar. And I'm going to bring it up two. And then I'm going to lift up or unclick. And then I'm going to lift up option. Okay. Now let's go straight over. I'm going to go over here. Let's see. I'm going to click and drag down a handlebar. Okay. Now I want to make it a straight line now. Okay. So I need to hold down option. I'm going to take the handlebar and I could change directions or whatever, but I'm going to put it away basically. I'm going to bring it and put it right, right where that little uh, anchor point is. And then I'm going to lift up with the pen or the, unclick the mouse and then lift up option. I'm going to move two over. Okay, now we're going to go straight line. Now you can see it's a straight line. I'm going to click, but I want to change it now. So to change it, I need to change the option. Hold down option. And I'm going to go ahead and lift up. All right, go up two. Put it right there. I lift it up with a pen, unclicked, and then I lift up option. Okay, go two over, click, drag down. Now I want to change it. So when I want to change it, basically I'm telling the next line what it's going to be. So that's how I kind of think about it. I need to tell the next line to be a straight line. So I'm going to hold down option, bring up the handlebar, bring it right into that anchor point. Then I can lift up or unclick, and then I can lift up option. Okay, let's try another time here. I'm going to go now. I got a straight line again because I told it to be a straight line before. So again, I'm going to click down, still click down. I want to change it now to a straight line. So I need to tell it for the next ink to the next line to be straight. I'm going to hold down option, drag that handlebar up, drop it right there, unclick with the mouse or unclick the pen or lift the pen, and then lift up option. All right, so each anchor point tells the next line, kind of informs it how the next one's going to be. Put it away. Lift up. Change it to a curve, right? So if I just dragged out the handlebar now, it would create another curve. But in order to, Command Z here, in order to keep it straight and change the next one, I have to click, then hold Option to tell it it's going to be different. Okay, and then I can change it like that. I'll do one more straight one, hold down option, put it away here, go ahead and lift, and then click. Okay, I'm going to hit V to get out of this, and let me take a look at my, my points here, and I can maybe fix them if there was any that were off. So go ahead and zoom in, Command plus, Command plus, and you can just look here and kind of see, like, maybe you want to make that a little higher, and that's kind of the beauty, one of the beauties of Illustrator. Okay, I have that little handlebar here that I made an extra handlebar. Let me see if I can get it back. It's not showing up now. There we are. Oh, I put it, I moved it. Okay, put it away. Let's go ahead and look here. So sometimes I've noticed, I'm going to zoom in. Sometimes you got to zoom in a lot. I've noticed that uh, it's easy to kind of drag out an extra little uh, handle when you don't mean to. Sometimes, like here. I've got an extra point here. What happened there? There it is. Let's put you away and put you where you should go, right there. Okay. And you can kind of keep going and editing everything. I see an extra little handlebar there. And you can, I can see that it gets a nice crisp little corner if I have it done correctly. So here there's a little little one sticking out right there. I just need to drag it right back into the anchor point. Okay, here there's got to be a weird one too. I'm going to do that. I'm trying to grab it. Kind of hard. There it is. There you are. Grab you and put you away. There we go. 
All right. Nice. There we go. Okay. Let's try one more little shape here. One more shape. So I'm going to give myself some room here. Go over. I'm going to get the uh, pen tool. And we're going to just change directions and keep it round, though. So I'll make like a little flower. So I'm going to do similar things to what I've done before. I'm going to click, go up to, let go, lift, go over here, click, drag down to. Now I'm going to hold down option and change directions. And I'm just, I'm not going to put it away. I'm just going to change directions here. I'm going to bring it straight out to. Okay, so I've told the curve to go this direction now, right? So it's going that direction. I'm going to go down to now. I'm going to click and drag. Bring that handlebar out to two blocks. Hold down option. Change directions. Down to lift. Then lift option. Over to. Drag it up to. Hold down option. Bring the handlebar out. Lift with a pen or the, or the uh, mouse. Then lift with option. Okay, now this one's tricky. Watch. If I connect it like this, it's going to tweak it. It just kind of tweaks the uh, original anchor point. So I don't want to do that. So here's kind of my little workaround. There might be a better way, but this is the way I do it. I click off of the exact space I want to go. So I'm going to click there. I'm going to go there and then lift up because I'm done here. So I'm just going to get the white arrow. So I just hit A, the shortcut for the white arrow. Let me zoom in now. And I'm going to pick up this handlebar and put it right on top of the other one. Now it doesn't create a nice, it creates a little gap there, but that's because it's the two points connected. But that's good enough for us for now. And hopefully this gets you a good start on the pen tool, one of the, uh, I think, harder tools to learn on your own. But once you get this tool down, you can really make just about anything in Illustrator, just get better and better with a pen tool. Okay, so that's it for the first tutorial on the pen tool, and I'll see you on the next one.